I know that there are going to be some people who are going to be like, sex is healthy and blah, blah, blah. And it is. It is. But what's unhealthy is the exchange of energies between all these low vibrational people that you're bringing into your life. That's what's unhealthy. That's unhealthy. <laughs> welcome back to my channel so today we have our very first sip and chat i'm so excited to be doing this video for you guys today um i probably mentioned several times that i wanted to start doing more lifestyle content more chit chats and stuff like the hair videos are not going anywhere but definitely wanted to start incorporating more lifestyle content and stuff on my channel so here we are today with our very first sip and chat so Today's video is going to be all about your single season and the things that you should be doing. I probably said five things, might be like six or seven. I don't really know, but I have my iPad right here because I have my notes um, for everything that I want to tell you guys before we get started. Sis, sip and chat, okay? Get yourself something to drink. I am drinking the Stella Rosa because it's like my fave. This is their red and they also have... Um, I don't know if it's called black cherry or dark cherry, but it's so good. So if you guys like red wine and you like cherry flavored stuff, I was nervous. I thought it was going to taste like um, like cough syrup or something because it's cherry flavored, but it's actually really, really good and I love it. But I'm out of that one. So I'm drinking red today. So mm. definitely make sure you get yourself something to sip this, whether it's tea, coffee, wine, tequila, whatever, whatever you are drinking tonight. Okay, so... I have my notes so yes i'm really excited you guys to be like finally talking on my channel about something other than hair um before we get started with that um if you guys like my outfit this is my robe and night dress let me show you guys and the matching robe this is from my loungewear store, AJ Official. So I will have this little set linked in the description box down below for you guys. So you can check that out. And of course, lots of other pajamas and loungewear in case you guys are interested in that. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this video. So the first thing that I have on my list says, get in your bag, sis. Okay, so after a breakup or not even a breakup, maybe it's just like you guys were talking or whatever and it ends and doesn't matter maybe it was for a long period of time maybe it was a year two years might be three four years okay um but yeah when you finally decide to leave that and this is video is really when you finally decided that you're not settling for anything less than what you deserve that's what this video is about this is not for someone who's just like okay well you know we broke up or like okay we stopped talking or whatever so i'm gonna just you know chill until the next guy comes along and then you know whatever whatever that's not what this video is about okay this video is for the person for the woman really because this channel is really dedicated to women so this is for the women that are done they're done with the drama. They're done with the bullshit. They're done accepting less than they deserve. They're done with the talking stage. They're done just hanging out, just texting casually, just just everything just so casual, just so whatever people are doing these days. When you decide you're done with that, then you come to this video and you do these things, okay? And this is what I've done and this is what I'm doing right now. This is what I'm in the process of doing. This is very much what my journey has been about for these last few months. Um, so I'll just give you guys a little bit of backstory before we get started. So um, I started kind of doing all these things and really started diving into my feminine journey a few months ago. So we are in November. So I probably started this somewhere around March um or something and really like over the summer like got more into it and like here we are in november and i have a whole list of things that i've been doing that i've been working on for myself that i just want to share with you guys in hopes that it will help someone who's in the same position as me so yeah when i basically decided that i was kind of done just like playing around casually just talking or whatever um yeah and i started taking this type of stuff seriously my life really started to elevate and I really began to 
really manifest the things that I want in my life and bring in my dreams, like make my dreams come true. Like honestly and truly, like that's what I'm in the process of doing right now. So the first thing I said is get in your bag. Okay, so of course, take the time that you need to um, just like chill out by yourself. Like you honestly cannot heal. I don't believe you can heal with people around you. Like, and that's, that can be anything. So whether it's just like guys that I won't even say guys because this is just this is women but you know whatever women with women women with men whatever whatever is going on with you can't heal with other people around you you can't just be casually texting dating having sex doing all this shit with all these random people and expect yourself to still be able to heal and still be able to become the best version of yourself with all of these outside distractions it's just not going to happen it's just not going to work and that is what it is you can say it doesn't have to be that way i can do it like whatever i can still be focused on myself and i can still text him and i can still go on dates and do what you want to do sis but when you decide that you're ready <laughs> come back to the video and start doing these things so get in your bag entrepreneurship is the new way of life now it ain't for everybody it's not for everybody but what it is about is elevation when you're getting in your bag so even if you do do whatever you're doing whatever career field you're in elevate what can you do to get yourself to the next level what can you do to get that promotion what can you do to become that manager or that ceo what can you do to elevate yourself in the corporation that you're working for if you don't work a traditional job and you do do entrepreneurship type things you have a boutique you have you do youtube you create content whatever it is that you do how can you elevate yourself and get to the next level write out a plan you guys write out a plan do not put times on it don't put times on it don't say by this month i'm gonna have this by next year i'm gonna have this you don't know how long something is gonna take and by putting times on it you may be just delaying your blessings like you may say if you think in your mind that something is not going to happen until this time next year then it's not going to happen until this time next year because subconsciously that's what you're telling yourself is that it's going to take you a whole year to get there don't put time time frames on anything just write down what you want you know what you want write it down write down the things that you want for your business whether it's any type of business that you want to build whether it's elevating in the type of career that you have um if you want to leave your nine to five make a plan for that like how are you going to do it how are you going to do it where's your source of income going to come from so definitely focus on your business focus on your career and get that shit in order period because people like to say money is the root of all evil but money is the root of all opportunity without it where are you going what are you doing what type of moves can you make without it you can't you can't you know so definitely want to get your bag in order what does financial freedom look like for you what does success look like for you write those things down write those things down sis okay the next thing that we have and i say write it down because that's when you make it real write it down just thinking have a bunch of thoughts in your head and nothing is on paper is not going to help anybody you need to see it you need to visualize it you need to manifest it journal about it do all that okay <laughs> okay guys so number two is going to be creating the best version of yourself so that's going to be physically emotionally mentally how can you elevate your life we've already talked about elevating your career elevating your bank account okay period but elevating yourself so physically get in the gym y'all get in the gym or do some yoga or something like move your body in some kind of way find something that you like to do that's a physical activity and do it like working out is so hard for me i literally oh my gosh we're in november right so i feel like i was working out for a good i, I don't even know how long a good few weeks okay and then I just didn't go one day and then that just turned into two days, three days, and now it's been like several months since I've been to the gym. Um, I really hate going to the gym. I really hate working out, um, but I want a better body. <laughs> I want a flatter stomach and a fatter ass. So I need to really get in the gym, but 
one thing that I do like to do that is a physical activity is yoga. So um, yoga is super easy to do, you guys, because you can do it at home. Um, there are tons of different YouTube videos that have, um, you know, people, I won't say like yoga instructors, but you know, people who do create content um, for yoga and things. And it's really nice and really relaxing. And it's a great like spiritual practice if you're into that kind of thing as well. So if you can't get in the gym, try to do some yoga or, you know, some kind of physical activity. The next thing that we have is going to be self care, you guys self care, I'm going to be putting up a few videos, um, like an unwind with me um, routine for sure may or may not do a shower, I don't know, but definitely going to do like an unwind with me. Um, just truly pampering yourself in your single season is so so important. Um, self care is like really huge. And that can be I talk about self care. And of course, I'm talking about like, bubble baths and body care and making sure that you're moisturized and you're exfoliated and your skin is soft and you know your skin is looking good your face is looking good um but of course it's important as well to do um like meditation or journaling and you know different things that can really help you to have a clear mind and really stay focused on what you're trying to do right now because this time is all about you it's all about you. You should be focused on yourself. I hate when people use the word selfish like it's a bad thing. Of course, you should try to help people out when you can, but you shouldn't, you can't pour from an empty cup. So you shouldn't be giving everything to everybody and then you have nothing left for yourself. Like this is your time to really focus on you and really getting you where you want to be. So then once you get to where you want to be, you can help the people around you just by being yourself because when you are when you get to the place where you're really comfortable with yourself you really love yourself you're really happy you radiate that from the inside out and that positive energy has a ripple effect on the people around you you can truly inspire others by just being yourself by just being a happy person by just having a positive outlook on life truly i promise you the day you decide to just be like you know what the glass is half full and you just look at everything from that perspective your life will improve I promise you that is one promise that I can make to you it may not be immediate you may have setbacks you're gonna have days where you're like what is this bro like I what is this you know like I'm not even about to do this like I keep doing so much work I keep having these positive outlooks blah 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 and like nothing is happening or Maybe some things are happening, but it's just coming slowly. Like, take your time, work, do what you need to do, put in, do your part, put in effort, and you will get to be where you need to be. Remember what we said about timelines. We don't deal with time over here. Time isn't even real. Time isn't even real. Let's just, let's just say that. Time is not real, okay? It's made up, man-made constructs so that we can get to where we need to be at a certain time. That you know, like it's a way for people to know when we can meet other people at a certain time. Like it's not real. Like we don't we don't put timelines on things. Just do your part and you will succeed. Don't give up. That's one thing I can also promise you is that if you give up, you'll never make it. If you give up, you'll never get there. You'll never get there. And I'm literally speaking to myself when I say this as well, because if you do if you are an entrepreneur in any sort, whether you create content, you own a business, you do whatever, you know that it's hard work. And a lot of the times, the people around you don't really understand how much work it is and the time and effort, energy that you really put into the things that you do. Um, so don't let those people discourage you. You know what you're doing, you know why you're doing it, stay focused okay no matter what you what how does the song go no matter what keep doing what you're doing okay if you be on tiktok i know you'd be hearing that okay and by the way follow me on tiktok at india ajay i'm gonna have all my social media in the description box down below i'd be on tiktok all day all day okay social media for me is tiktok love it okay youtube i mean youtube instagram child look <laughs> TikTok is where it's at. I'm gonna just say that. Okay, so what I wanna do is talk about 
um, like mentally and emotionally things that you should be doing. So I know I mentioned journaling before. Some people don't really like journaling for whatever reason, but you definitely need to start journaling. If you're not a huge fan of that, just kind of force yourself to do it every day, even if you just write a few sentences down. When you journal, you're really not, I mean, you can talk about, of course, like what you did that day, but what is your emotional state? That's what you're journaling about. Emotionally, how are you feeling? Do you feel happy? Do you feel sad? What's going on in your life? What are you excited about? What do you um, see for yourself in the future? Also do voice notes as well. I've recently started doing voice notes where I just kind of talk. Um, I basically do a journal entry, but I do it as a voice note. So try doing that as well, especially if you're someone who's in a time crunch, because you can do a voice note while you're in the car driving, like you're on the way home from work or out, um, out running errands um, on your way home or, you know, whatever. You can quickly just do a voice note and just get some of your feelings out and just talk. So that's going to be a great thing as well. And I know I mentioned meditating too. Amazing. The next okay. thing that we're going to talk about is pleasing your senses so like i said single season is all about you so when we talk about our senses we talk about the first thing is going to be our eyes right what do we see around us what kind of environment do you live in do you like what you see every day do you when you come home are you happy with what you see maybe you need to rearrange your furniture maybe you need to uh, switch out a few pieces maybe you need to clean out your closet and get rid of some of those clothes that you just stare at and know you're never gonna put on um, take that donate it there's somebody out there who needs those clothes who could be wearing them and when you take things out of your closet you create space for new things to come in right because if you have a just this I'm just talking about a closet but you have a closet over uh, overfilled with clothes a whole bunch of stuff that you're never gonna wear you don't even have any space for anything new to come in cleanse cleanse yourself you're cleansing your mind you're cleansing your body you're cleansing your life cleanse your house okay do that as well um decorate you know all of these things and of course i know this can be difficult because a lot of people on a budget have a limited amount of money to spend on things like that but i get that however if it's important to you you'll find a way to do it so maybe you can't go out today and go get things that you want, but maybe you can put aside, you know, $20 a week. And at the end of the month, you've accumulated like 80 to $100 and you can go buy yourself a few things, even if it's just like a new throw from Walmart or um, a cute new throw pillow, or maybe buy yourself a little robe, you know, or something like something that's really nice for you that you really want. Please your senses. Okay. That's going to be eyesight, right? Smells smelling good y'all we already kind of talked about self-care and like bubble baths and shower routines and all that kind of stuff but all of that is is a part of pleasing your senses like your your smell make sure you have um perfumes that you love candles that you like to smell oil melts and things um diffusers and air fresheners and you guys will really be so surprised well i mean you, you know this how smell affects you you guys know when you smell like cinnamon or nutmeg or pine it immediately reminds you of the holidays like when you smell something it can bring in good memories so definitely burn candles oil melts diffusers all that kind of stuff to please your senses okay then what else do we have on here we have taste so your taste buds cook things that you enjoy cook cook things that you enjoy go out to eat if you've never gone out to eat by yourself, put it on your list of things to do during your single season and do it sooner rather than later. You could start off with something just as small as going to Starbucks and getting a cup of coffee and a pastry or something and sitting in there. Sit in there though. You can't go through the drive through That one doesn't count. Like you've got to sit in there and do it. The next thing would be going to lunch. The next thing would be going to dinner. And you can start this off you know, during the week, there's going to be fewer people. And eventually, I hope you can build up to the weekend, sis. I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> I have not gotten there yet. But um, I've done a lunch. Um, I, I ate, it was something now, and I'm even going to tell y'all because I'm just getting comfortable really doing this. My next thing is going to be like a nice lunch or like nice dinner where I actually like do my makeup, put on a cute outfit and everything. But I have gone out to just eat um like i think i had wings i went out and got like some wings and i sat in there and ate it 
which is something that I never do and I've never done before. And I did it for the first time and I was very proud of myself. And although it was something so small, um, and a lot of people may not have any problems with this. They may think it's, you know, really easy, like they do it all the time. But if you're an introvert like me, then, you know, it's a huge deal to go out uh, and like eat something by yourself. So definitely put that on the list for you to do. And the next thing I have is going to be sound. So of course, listening to music that you enjoy. Um, watch the music that you listen to. I promise you, it has an effect on your mood, on just everything in general, like high frequency sounds and happier sounds, lively upbeat things are gonna raise your mood. Like if you're someone who's listening to rap all day, every day, it's a lot, okay? It's cool, throw that on while you get ready to go out at night or you know, while you're actually out, you know, whatever, turned up, vibing, chilling, whatever, cool. But when you're just like at home, like don't be listening to all that girl. Don't be listening to all that, like, chill. Listen to some, some positive things, okay? The next thing that we wanna do is preparing your yoni. So um, I mentioned this earlier when I was talking about just kind of like casually dating and casually having sex and casually just talking to people and whatever, like, we're cutting that. This may be really difficult for some people, but if you can go on a celibacy journey, do it you will not regret it you will not regret it in the end and if it is really difficult for you that's why you really need to do it because you need to prove to yourself that you're capable and i know that there are going to be some people who are going to be like sex is healthy and blah 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 and it is it is but what's unhealthy is the exchange of energies between all these low vibrational people that you're bringing into your life that's what's unhealthy that's unhealthy so <laughs> look sex is the exchange of energies that and that's just period i don't care what you say i'm telling you that is what it is soul ties are very much real like stop bringing all these negative energies into your life and then wondering why you're getting stds or bacterial vaginosis or yeast infections like you're bringing in that negative energy and it's literally manifesting into physical ailments in real life okay so please seriously watch out for that if you can go on a celibacy journey sis do it do it i promise you you're capable you will feel so empowered in the end in yourself and i'm going to recommend a book for you guys the book is called pussy prayers um you can get it on amazon it's a paperback book i believe it's about 15 dollars somewhere around that definitely not over 20. um order it it is an amazing book that it talks literally just about that that's all the book is about um and it's it's a great book especially um trigger warning if you are someone who has experienced any type of sexual abuse in any capacity at all you definitely need the book um but even if you have it an amazing book an amazing book um really easy to read you know great information and there's different practices and things in there it's super informative um so i definitely recommend that you get that book do those practices and the power of manifestation and creating your dream life lies right there it lies in your yoni it is in your feminine energy to create that's what it is creation see a lot of us are stuck in our masculine energy because that's what we have to be in this world um to be able to keep up with the masses you know really because your masculine energy is all about doing it you got to do it you got to put in the work put in the time put in the effort and that's amazing but you also need to have your feminine energy intact because that's how you're going to manifest it from your mind of course you can't create anything without action you have to have that even that balance you have to have that masculine energy to be able to go out do it put in the work and get it done but in order to really create and really manifest it you gotta have your feminine energy in balance okay so do that too sis um, and the last thing, well, it's that kind of second to the last thing I have on here is going to be learning your love language. So that's kind of something fun. You guys can um, Google the different love languages, but I'll just tell you right now, they are physical touch, 
quality time, gifts, acts of service, and words of affirmation. You should definitely go through those five, kind of read about them and see which one you think you are because that is going to be super important when you actually get into the relationship with your soulmate, with your twin flame, with the love of your life. Love languages are going to be so important. You have to tell someone how you want to be loved and what you expect and you have to be able to communicate those things. You can't communicate what you don't know. So I'll tell you guys what mine are. My two are um, gifts and acts of service. So gifts are pretty easy. I mean, you know, any man who kind of has money can pretty much give you gifts. But acts of service, I would say it's kind of one of the more difficult ones on the list. And that's going to be things like doing things. So maybe like he cooks for you or he takes out the trash for you without you having to ask or you know he'll be like oh you know I remember you said yesterday that you wanted some Chick-fil-A so you know I some is on the way to your house <laughs> you know Postmates is on their way with some Chick-fil-A for you or you know I know you love chocolate chip cookies so I picked you up some on my way home that kind of stuff is acts of service like paying attention to what I say that I want and things that I love things that I'm interested in and doing them so definitely learn your love languages sis the last thing that i have on my list and this is going to be this is for the person who is ready for their husband you've decided you're done with the bullshit and the next man that comes into your life is going to be your husband um when you're ready for that then you know that when you're in your single season you can't date you can't date you cannot go on any dates. You cannot talk to any men. I keep saying men, but y'all know what I mean. Men, women, whoever you date. You can't date. You can't text. You can't talk on the phone, FaceTimes. None of it. None of it, bro. Because all you're doing is putting... You're, you have a placeholder. That's what you're doing. Because what you're doing is you're saying that, okay, well, while I'm, you know, doing this, I can still you know, text her, go on a date or, um, you know, just hang out, whatever. We don't have to have sex. Like we're just hanging out. You know, he's just taking me to dinner. It's a free meal. Like blah, blah, blah. Like make your own meal, cook your own dinner, go to the grocery store. You don't need their food. You don't need their food. <laughs> you don't need any of that. Okay. So you can be amazing by yourself. Okay. You don't need anybody there. You don't want a placeholder. You don't want a placeholder because all you're doing is delaying how long it's going to take you to get to your husband you're taking time away from yourself taking time away from your healing process and you're spending it with someone else like spend your time getting to know yourself and if you have a problem being by yourself then you know where you need to start sis you know where you need to start in your journey why are you uncomfortable being alone i've mentioned a few things in this video that kind of relate to spiritual things but I just want to say that if you're uncomfortable being alone you need to figure out why you need to do some shadow work you need to get to the root of the issue and shadow work is really just why do you feel this way and what's triggering it from my past that makes me feel this way today so if you're someone who's uncomfortable being alone maybe it's because you grew up in a house with you know tons of brothers and sisters and you never got any time by yourself so now when you do have time by yourself it's like well what am i supposed to be doing there's no one here there's no one to talk to it's too silent you know or maybe you have a problem being alone because you were alone most of your life maybe you're only child or maybe maybe you're not but maybe your parents were always working or um you know whatever and you just had to spend time alone and now you feel like you have to cling to anybody who's around because you don't want to feel that loneliness anymore you know it could be a plethora of things but figure out what it is figure out what it is and start there because you need to be happy by yourself first before you can be happy with somebody else and that's so cliche it's so cliche it's so like everybody says that but it's so true y'all it's so true um and let me see what the last thing is i have on here oh yeah that's literally everything that i wrote down so basically no placeholders no placeholders okay no placeholders you don't need it you don't need it okay so i think that's pretty much everything that i wanted to say in this video let me know if y'all want a part two um and we call this a sip and chat but this is only like my third sip so y'all take a sip too the 
the red Stella Rosa is really popping. I'm telling you. Mm. So good. So yes let me know if you guys want me to do a part two this wasn't as difficult to film as i thought i didn't think i was really going to be able to do this much talking but i think i did pretty good um so yeah let me know if you guys have any questions let me know um any practices that you guys do during your single season or did do um before you got into your long-term relationship with your soulmate okay so let me know down below for sure i definitely would love to add things to my routine and of course help the other women down below um on their journeys as well and don't forget to shop the website for this cute little night dress and robe set i think that's gonna be it for this video like i said let me know if y'all want a part two and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe on your way out and oh if you guys are interested in this hair this is my most recent crochet braid video. I'll have that link below for you guys too. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.